Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and CoolsCheapLaptops.com. Today I will be showing you how to transfer music from your iPod to iTunes library within Windows 8. This is useful if your system crashes or you get a new computer. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. By plugging your iPod into a USB port on your computer, and that will open up the file explorer for your iPod and if you don't see this let me go ahead and exit out of this go down to the lower left hand corner and right click and move up and click on file explorer and that will bring that screen right back up for you which shows me my hard drives that are available on my computer and one of them is listed as Nick's iPod and it happens to be labeled drive F and I'm going to double click on my iPod drive and that brings up uh, this screen that shows me four folders in my iPod. And the folder that we're going to be working with is called iPod underscore control. But presently it's hidden and we want to go ahead and unhide it by clicking on view up top here. And going over to the um, uh, options um, icon here. Click on that. And then it opens up the folder options window and we'll click on view and go down and put a check mark next to show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then go down and click on apply and click on um, OK. And we can now see the iPod underscore control folder. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to double click on that. And that brings up these folders and I'm going to click on music. And that brings up the default folders that iPod keeps all of its music in. And uh, I'm working with uh, F00 through F08 here. Um, you may have less folders or more folders, um, depending on um, how much music that you have on your iPod. And uh, for this demo, I'm only going to be working with F00 here. So I'm going to open that up. And we can see four songs in this folder that I'm going to be copying over to the iTunes library in a few seconds here. All right, let me uh, go back one level here and uh, go back to F00 and right click on that and go down and click on copy. Now that copies the F00 folder with those four songs into my computer's memory and uh, I'll be able to paste that into the iTunes uh, library in a few seconds here. And once you have that closed out, let's go over to the modern UI and open up our um, iTunes app. Once you have it open, um, go ahead and click on edit. If you don't see this menu bar here, click on the drop down arrow and uh, click on the high menu bar or um, show menu bar. And once you see the menu, go ahead and click on edit and go down and click on preferences and click on the advanced tab. Now what you want to do here is make note of where the iTunes media folder location is. By default it's in the users folder. Um, if yours is different just be aware of where it's at. And the next item I like to let um, iTunes go ahead and organize my music for me. Um, that's up to you. Um, but I do like to have a check mark next to copy files to iTunes media folder when adding the library. Okay, let's click on OK here. And uh, let's go ahead and minimize iTunes. Next, let's go ahead down to the lower left hand corner here and right click. And go up, click on File Explorer. Once open, under um, Libraries, let's click on Music and uh, My Music iTunes and uh, iTunes Media and in the iTunes Media folder we want to go ahead and right click because we want to paste um, the F00 from our iPod that we did earlier we copied it into memory so I'm pasting it from memory into the iTunes library here and once it's complete we want to go ahead and go up and uh, right click on F00 and uh, scroll down the menu on the right hand side here and uh, click on properties 
and remove the check mark uh, next to hidden. This allows uh, iTunes to be able to see the folder and then click on apply and then click on OK and then click on uh, OK again. Alright, we can go ahead and uh, exit this and close this out. Alright, next let's open up iTunes again and uh, let's click on edit and uh, click on preferences and click on the advanced tab and just to refresh our memory make note where the default location is for your um, iTunes media folder and then click on cancel. Alright let's go up to file and let's click on add folders library and um, let's click on music my music um, iTunes and then iTunes media and then cl click on F00 and uh, go ahead and click select folder and that should bring your music right into iTunes and it did for me and I'm sure it will for you and that's how you go about um, copying uh, your music um, from your iPod over to iTunes. I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching and be sure to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to Nick's Computer Fix.